here are some general shop safety rules for the precision machining shop. Eye protection is required at all times in the shop area. Remove loose clothing, watches, rings, and ties. No long sleeve shirts are allowed in the shop. All horseplay is to cease in the shop area. Before operating any machine, you must pass a test of safety with that machine of 100%. Do not operate any machine when the instructor is not in the shop. When working with another student, only one should operate the machine controls. Do not lean or sit on any machine. Do not talk to others when they are operating a machine. Get first aid immediately for any injury and report all injuries to your instructor. Put all tools away when not in use. Do not leave tools or work on the machine table or on the machine itself even if the machine is not running. Vibrations could cause the tools to fall and end up in an improper position. If you are in doubt about anything, ask your instructor. Clean up all spilled liquids immediately. They are slipping hazards. Keep all floors free of oil, grease, and any other kind of liquid. Do not try to make any repairs of equipment yourself. Report them to your instructor. All observers should stay out of the machine area while the machine is in operation. In case of fire, follow the posted signs to leave the building immediately, but walk. Do not run. In case of a tornado drill or tornado siren, proceed to the correct location following your instructor's inst instructions. All oily rags should be put in the proper waste containers. If you need help, ask your instructor. When lifting heavy objects, lift with your legs. Keep your back as straight as possible. If you do not know how to lift something or need help, ask your instructor. Do not touch any moving objects or any part of the machine that is moving. This includes belts, pulleys, chucks, cutters, parts, wheels, any, anything that is rotating, do not touch it. Get your instructor's permission before leaving a shop area. We need to know where you are at at all times for safety reasons. Use special safety equipment when required. When in doubt, ask your instructor. Machines are only as safe as the person using them. Machines do not think and are tougher than you are. You must think if this job is to be accident free. You have a brain. The machine does not. You have to think for you and the machine. Milling machine safety rules. Always make sure you have proper eye protection when running machines. Make sure the cutters you have selected are the correct cutters for the operation you are performing and that they are sharp and in good working condition. When handling sharp cutters, holding them with a rag is the best way to protect yourself from being cut. Prior to installing a cutter in the machine, make sure the inside of the spindle is clean and free of chips and burrs so that nothing will interfere with the tool in the machine itself. Never reach around the cutter to remove chips or perform any measurements to avoid striking the cutter with your hand or arm. Never measure deburr, wipe off, 
or attempt to come in contact with the part with the cutter rotating. To avoid hitting a stopped cutter, it is always best to move the table and the vise and part as far away from the cutter as possible for performing any measuring or deburring operations. Always make sure the part is secured in the vise. Make sure the vise is secured to the table. Make sure you have the correct speeds and feeds calculated for the cutter and the movement of the table. Try to avoid excessive, deep, heavy, or fast cuts as it could cause the tools to break. Periodically during machining, with the machine stopped, inspect the tool to make sure that it is still sharp and has not chipped or been broken. Do not leave tools on the work table and make sure the table is clean and free of chips. A clean machine is a happy machine. Also make sure that the direction of your cutters are correct and that you've selected the correct cutter for the operation. When seating a part or removing a tool from the spindle, the use of a hammer may be required. Do not use a steel faced hammer. A steel faced hammer can cause damage to the part, to the vise, to the spindle if used improperly. A dead blow saw faced hammer is the best tool to use for this operation.